Hey, Planeswalkers, Mithras here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome to today's episode of Top Deck. We have a fast and furious mono green aggro deck for you here. That's top 25 by Rint. I appreciate you tuning in. We have a lot to go and cover. So please feel free to ask comments down below or hop in the Discord server if you do have questions. On top of that, the timestamps are there for your benefit where we're going to talk about the strategy objective of the deck. We're going to talk about boarding and then we're going to go into some competitive magic here for you today playing both best of one and best of three and then we'll close everything out with where this might sit within the meta today now quickly as always planeswalkers just a huge thank you truly i appreciate your support so feel free to subscribe down over there that will keep you up to date on content like this additionally like the video everything and every <laughs> little bit of help is much appreciated as always so um, with that let's go ahead and dive right into it here and talk about some of the deck and the strategy here um, so this one's a mono green aggro deck um, the biggest thing that's actually really interesting about this one here is that it's not supported in the main board by any of the new Kaldeheim stuff which is pretty pretty interesting um, certainly there's things that you could play here but Rint did it without that um, you will see some of the pieces here like snakeskin veil um, as well as Vorniclex though on, in terms of the sideboard so that is of note uh, so keep that in mind because that's pretty important as well when we talk about the best of three but the idea behind this deck is it's very aggressive you got support with swarm shambler early on with the with the plus one plus one counters and being hit with a counter or being hit with a spell you get to create a one one uh token insect creature um, we got stone coil primal might to pick things off we got support for graveyard with scavenging ooze we get ramp we also then continue to build some bigger batter bodies here um, with ways to take out a lot of things that our opponents might be carrying and then at the top end we have good old Planeswalker support and then the Great Henge, which allows us to really ramp uh, and continue to cast those spells, which is absolutely, absolutely crucial in this deck. So it's a very fast paced mono green deck again aggro the whole point is to be hitting curve dealing damage and continuing to put pressure on your opponents um, and this deck certainly can do it now again this was a top 25 deck by rent um, and very very excited to be playing this here so that is the strategy that is the objective around this deck the key pieces really involve um, just playing on curve getting great henge for that late game support if you need it obviously vivian too but most of these creatures at the three and four slot are just going to allow you to plow right through your opponents as you're doing that damage as you're picking things off um, and controlling that board state now we're going to go ahead and talk about the sideboard here and we're going to do that in in uh in ways that we look at it from an aggro a mid-range and a late game lineup um to really really help us figure out how we're going to play um again here's what we have um at our disposal to really go after our opponents here in the best of three lineup so when we first talk Talk about the aggro match um, what we're gonna do is uh, we're most likely going to use things like snakeskin veil to either pump our guys or also if they have direct damage um, not not get hit which is a big big piece if they are running uh, black like rogues um, we will certainly pull in garuk's harbringer um, you can absolutely use garuk's unleashed as well here to keep making creatures and make your creatures bigger um, and then that's kind of where you're gonna tie out in my opinion in terms of what you want to to do if you hit a rogues deck you will absolutely pull in chain web arachner here um, this card absolutely does work on on that archetype um, so keep those things in mind and what we're going to take a look at in terms of uh, removal or changing things up if they're not leveraging the graveyard um, scavenging ooze is an easy one to pull out it's nice to get that life gain back and get those bigger bodies but we do have a lot of big things here as well um, if we need so just keep that in mind however this pairs really nicely with swarm shambler um, at the top end we're, we're fairly good as well you could always look to uh, make some changes here at this end as well as turn timber we do have a healthy uh, 22 land so you could get a little bit more risky on the curve if you'd like as well um, so those are a couple different options there for you in the aggro matchup and these are going to be decks like mono red mono white aggro or life gain um, so keep those things in mind additionally it could be the boros uh, showdowns decks boros aggro decks could be um, the flyer decks that, that i've done too as well um, and then additionally uh, don't forget some of the uh, counters decks potentially and then obviously the mirror match here um, and then you could also consider um 
uh, Gruel Aggro as well, so just keep those things in mind. But Gruel Aggro is kind of more also a mid-rangey deck at times, so keep that in mind, and we'll use that as our as our nice segue here to cover the mid-range deck. So mid-range decks that we might run into, again, things like Gruel Aggro, you can consider Ultimatum uh, Emergent, potentially, uh, if the ramp's done nicely or similar to Teamer. Um, we also have things like the Tempo decks uh, to keep an eye on, like is it? Uh, so those are some good, good options for you there. Now, when we talk about the mid-range, we also got to include Rakdos, uh, Sacrifice decks, John Sack, also the Escape decks, or just Rakdos mid-range in general. Uh, so you're going to kind of break this down into two things. One, into the more creature-based decks, which will continue to play similar towards the aggro, and then the ones that are not creature-based. So those are going to be more the direct kill spells or some of the graveyard ones. Um, so in that case, you're certainly going to want to keep scavenging news in. But if they are uh, going directly after our creatures, you most likely play Snakeskin Veil, um, potentially uh, Wilt here if they do run those enchantments, which happens quite a bit. Um, Garruk's Harbringer as well is a good one. And then additionally, what a lot of people forget is actually Vornicleks here will shut down um, a lot of things. So when they play counters, if they are playing enchantments, um, those enchantment sagas are not going to be able to uh, go up. They're essentially dead on the board unless they remove this guy. So that's a good one to keep in mind. Um, so so just, just note that as kind of a pro tip there for you. A lot of people forget about that. So what I would look to move in again for sure is probably going to be these ones. Um, potentially Garuk Unleashed. You'll, you'll understand again given kind of what the stuff that we discussed there. Um, but most likely what you're going to kind of what I would pull out actually um, potentially is the Tangle Florahedron. Um, you might not need that ramp per se as much. Um, something to consider there. Uh, and that's four that you could swap in. You might not need the Primal Mites as well um, to specifically pick off their guys. So those could be some good spots for you to look. You could also look to, again, remove some of those lands like we talked about um, if you wanted to as well. And then additionally, you might actually want to pull in another Great Henge uh, to keep things moving um, and really, really really lock in that card draw for you there too. So that's the mid-range battle and then the late game battle. These are going to be control decks, um, dimmer control. You could consider the ultimatum decks, both emergent um, and the teamer one as well. Uh, Sultai, Yorian is a big one. The four color Yorian is a big one. Um, so keep those ones in mind and then obviously any other, you know, you might run into some foretell decks and those things too. Um, so when you hit the late game decks, uh, you're really, really going to want to keep that speed up. Again, if they're running black, you'll flip this in. Um, Vornaclex is nice on the high end. Uh, additional Great Henges are nice. Uh, Garut could be a nice one too there for you. Um, Snakeskin, if they do have direct stuff or Wilt, if you need to, if you run into like a Doom deck, um, what I would do is if you do want to bank and going towards some of these higher ones, you're absolutely going to want to keep Tangled Florahedron. Um, you might want to dump Primal Might and then. And the other consideration there too is because we do have these Kazandu uh, Mammoths, which are great, and some of these other things here. Um, and you want to get some of the other pieces that might want to stick on the board. Evaluate in terms of what you're playing. Again, this is very quick. Um, I would actually consider going lighter on the Kazandu Mammoth here. I like the additional ramp to get to some of your higher end stuff faster and pay off some of that value um, as, an, as an opportunity there. You could also look at Stone Coil if they are not playing multicolored spells this might be worth removing as well um, and really trying to lock in in that in that two spot in that early ramp kind of a thing to some of your higher value cards and pulling in a late game aggro uh, kind of matchup deal there and so planeswalkers that is how i would board for the best of three against the aggro the mid-range and the late game lineup that is the strategy objective of this deck we're going to go ahead now and hop into some competitive magic here for you so with that said let's take this top 25 deck by rent into action all right, let's see what we have. So standard ranked, there we go. Now, if you guys caught my uh, my Twitch, you guys can absolutely see me play a lot of these other decks too. Um, but we played the mono red snow one there. The other day I did the number one salt Iorian deck uh, as well. Great, great deck. You guys can check that one out. So today, mono green aggro it is. Let's hop into it here. Now, for those of you uh, that are joining, we talked at a high level uh, rather quickly about the strategy objective of the deck. We talked about how you're gonna board uh, for your best of three matches, which we'll go do here in a little bit after our best of one. Um, this is not a good start for us. We will have to mulligan. Uh, this is a little bit better um, because we can do 
uh, some some ramp here, so we'll keep this. Uh, the debate I have, let's look. Uh, I might keep the Primal Might. Um, do I want to keep Kazandu is the question. I do like the double love struck, and we're still going to get three here, um, so I might do that. Uh, like I said, we took a look at the deck, the strategy, um, how to sideboard, and then um, if you do got questions or comments throughout, let me know. Always, always happy to help there. Um, we will do this. And then we'll take a risk. And then as always, so now that we know it's mono red, might, we might pay for it. Um, Always, always appreciate your support, so feel free to subscribe down over there. Additionally, like the video if you like it. You can like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and Twitch. So, yeah, we're going to pay for it. Ah, so we got it actually. So, good news is we can get this guy off. So that payoff worked nicely for us. So they're going to use it up. That's okay. We do need to hit a land. There we go. All right, so they're going to have a good old foretell there. Um, we need to decide what we want to do here. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab, I think we have one there. Make that guy a little bit bigger. Now I'm expecting a counter here. Hmm. <laughs> so Stone Coil's got protection from the sprite here, so we'll give him one. We'll see if we can get away with it. I got some lag there. And what do we have? Nothing there. Nothing. Well, we got one. Oh, we don't have enough. We can throw a gem. Yeah, that's a problem. So not lethal yet. Oh, lock there. Outs. We can't pull enough there. If they have a counter, we're in trouble. We can't do enough damage. Oh, good game. All right. 
right, we'll go to the next one. That is a bummer. So losing that extra mana there early, and we should have kept now the Kazandu. If we would have kept that, that would have been a little bit different match because then we would have got to that that number that we needed there for our for our guys. So let's go ahead here and play our next one. And for our guys, I mean our curve. <laughs> we didn't quite get to what we needed to. Vistar all it is here. All right, so this is okay. We can do this. Uh, if we can turn turn and keep the love struck in the great henge, um, that would be really, really clutch for us. So we'll do that. We can turn two into the tangle. So if this is a uh, mono white, aggro or uh, life gain deck. Let's see what we hit. All right, so it's aggro is what we hit. So if we can keep Lovestruck on the field here, um, we can get the Henge, which is going to be big. All right, the white weenie deck it is. So we can go... We can do a few things here. We'll play this. We'll go like this. Now they will lose a ton. No, oh, all right. We can drop Swarm. We can go with Swarm Shambler. We can go with another one of these. We can do two here. What do we want to hit? We'll hit this guy. Well, he can first strike though then. Let me think about that. Then he can first strike the questing beast. We do want to take that guy out, though. Uh, if we put it on love struck and go seven, that's still going to be big enough. Maybe we go like this then. Then we go two here. Make him seven. Oop. Six. What's that? Put him out. Pay one. Actually, let's just do that. Actually, we'll just do this. Take those off. We'll keep him on the board. That's the right play. We'll play this guy. Well, we'll play Swarm Shambler. Get that. There we go. Okay. 
So either way, it's going to take two guys to kill each of those. So they need seven, ten. They need two banners. That's nine, thirteen. Ah, we got it. There we go. Nice. That's the mono white weenie deck now. All right, let's go for it. Whew. Worked out. Our guys are much bigger. On to our third and final best of one match here, Planeswalkers. And then we're going to go into um, best of three. Fire flyer it is. Let's see what we got. All right, I will take this because we can play the modals. We got turn two play. No turn one though. <clears throat> That's all right. So life gain most likely. We'll find out. No, I'm not gonna block. We'll go this guy first. They have to be running the spirit. This would be nice to have right now. Uh, we will do this. We'll see. They could go with any of those. They'll get one for Heliod. Put it on Linden. There you go. So we want to go like this. that that still gives me three I think yep we can exile we can play this guy I think we do it on cause and do Oof. So scavenging ooze we can bring in and start taking out their graveyard 
um, is what we'll need to do here. Block here. We're in trouble though with the brood now, unfortunately. That's going to help us a little bit. Let's play this stuff first. not going to work the way we want to. There we go. Uh, we need to hit the Luminous off. So they'll probably sack the savior, which is a huge problem. Um, we will go plus one. I call and answers. The brood moth. They'll bring their selfless savior back. Um. No, we can't attack. Oh, I hope they put everything there. <clears throat> Well, all they gotta do is sack Elseed and then protection from green and it's game, so it doesn't really matter. There it is. There it is. We'll call that a good game. All right. Not bad, not bad. So one and two, um, Really, really like the deck. I've played against it, um, so not not bad for best of one. I'll take it. Um, the the aggro lineups easier than the life gain lineup there. The life gain decks really, really tough. It's, it's certainly one of the best um, in in best of one. So and is it is it does a nice job. We were close on that one, but let's go ahead here and play our traditional standard ranked again. We did the Salt Yorian deck. I was running mono red there for uh, Twitch. You guys can always check that out. Um, but we are playing the mono green aggro deck top twenty five by Rint today. Um, so let's go ahead and pile into it.
Um, so for those of you hopping in now, we went one and two in best of one. So played some really, really good key decks, um, top decks, uh, always is usually what happens. And obviously this is a, certainly a contender, um, but that one and two and looking forward to uh, doing a little bit better here in, in our best of three lineup. Now this is slightly problematic um, because we don't have any, any great plays here off the start. So I will take it. Um, we can play this. I'm going to drop a plant primal might, and hopefully we can we can get another land here. Um, otherwise, we're going to run into some some challenges. So we're okay with that on turn two. Um, we'll see if they have gruel here. Marcelo Kai Pura. Now, as always, Planeswalkers, um, huge thank you. Truly, I appreciate your support. So feel free. It is gruel. Uh, subscribe down over there. Additionally, like the video if you like it. You can like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and Twitch. My friends, um, always, always appreciate it. Now, the debate here that I have is I could. It might be easy. I might take the damage. Um, well, I'm going to go to three either way there. Uh, so I think we take it off. So as always, appreciate the support. Feel free to subscribe down over there and like the video, my friends. Uh, great ways for us to stay in touch um, and other ways to support the channel down below in the description. And if you do have questions or comments, as I keep saying, please feel free to ask here to help. And additionally, um, obviously as well, um, oh, what are we gonna do here? <laughs> we'll do this again. Uh, <laughs> as well, please feel free to hop in the in the Discord server. Sorry, multitasking sometimes uh, it fails me. Ooh, there you go. So it's Naya. Was not thinking that there. So depending, depending on what we see, we're going to want another Great Henge here. Um, there's their Great Henge. Good news is we got our Gem Razor. I'll trade. Six. We need three. So we go one, two, three. There we go. Best move that we could have made with what we had, I think. Well, we'll attack in. Do they have some burn is the question. Nope. So I'll keep Tangled back for now. They do. There it is. Good move for those guys. We'll wait. Yeah, I didn't know if this deck ran the fire, so... We're okay. They probably got another one now. Whew.
Yeah, Vorniclex was going to be good in this one. There we go. Scoos. Let's grab all their guys. We'll keep Tangled still. Uh-oh, are they going to get their draw? Alright. Ooh, we could play this, huh? What do we need? Seven? It's not enough. Let's keep going. Play this guy now. Probably could have grabbed a few of our graveyard. It's all right. Would add two more damage to be at five. So they win by two. It's it's my bad. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, what do we want to grab here? Let's grab the gem razor, huh? Or do we grab another scavenging ooze? So look at the top seven cards. We may put a creature card from them on the battlefield. If it has convert mat cost or less, it enters with an additional three counters. Um, so this is going to be bigger. Uh, that guy does have trample though. Do we go gem or do we go with scoos? I think we go with the scoos so that we have two. Now we could have put we could have put gem in there. But we actually have lethal right now. So we'll do it this time the right way. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're good. So what do we want to do here? Um, I do actually like a couple things. I like Snakeskin Veil because we know they do the direct. Um, we know that they're running artifacts and enchantments. We don't need this guy. Um, I do like Vorniclex on the top end, and I also don't mind Garuk. Um, what I'm going to take out here is, uh, what do I want to take out? I'd like the top end there. Uh, questing beast isn't a bad one to pull either. Because we're going to get better value out of some of these other ones. Um, I like Kazandu. We'll dump two lands there. Scavenging News saved us. We'll go down one. Um, Swarm Shambler. Let's go one of those. Um, we need those on the top end. Let's see. Let's go one more light on this that guy. Go one lighter on the scoos. All right, that's a little bit better. Now I do like questing beast, but um, we're gonna be okay because they got a lot of bigger guys. So we wanna we wanna match up and line up this way. All right, Marcelo Caipira. I'm okay with this. So we'll go Swarm Shambler.
Naya Showdown Adventure Deck. Now we can easily go turn two into stone coil if we need to, um, and then gem razor two, which is pretty powerful. They're going to want to get that off right away. Yeah, there you go. So we will do that. Oh, they love, they love those, don't they? Uh, let's go just like this. That guy will wait. They got the hinge, though. No, nope, no. Nope. Here we go. We do have that. That's a good one. We'll see if they trade. That's all right. Boom. So now that we know they went Clythos, we gotta make sure we have all our oozes in there. Because then I can make scavenger news bigger. We'll take the ping here. We're going to move into a kind of a stalemate here. Potentially, I can't clip anything. Um, this I can do, though. make Clythos big enough now.
get this stuff out of here. We gotta hang on to that. Can we hit this yet? Not enough yet. It's too bad. Uh, we can cycle the wilt if we need to next turn. Ouch. We needed that protection card there. I guess I could have cycled Wilt and then hit, and I probably will end up hitting it. Um, and now they have their ooze. Scooze is not going to gain counters though because of Borneclex, so that is that is one bonus here. Um, and let's do this. Double up counters with Borneclex. Boom. At the beginning of our instep, we may search our library for a creature card, put it on the battlefield, then shuffle our library. And legendary. What do we want to pull? Let's grab our scavenging news. I'm surprised they didn't use theirs, actually. All good, we can go grab the other Vorniclex. So we know they have the two damage, the three, the three that they can do and flip something out. I'm gonna let them take Garuk. We got here. Time 21, 20. not lethal and we could toss on gem there if we want still not lethal eight 18 uh we'll pass no blocks Buckle 
probably should have did that. Probably would have had a better lands. It, I don't think it matters though too much here. Um, let's grab our Vornaclax. We'll see if they use theirs. No tokens. Miss there. some life we need a great henge we need a great henge they should have put those giant killers on um they could have tapped me down there they figured it out oh There, they figured it out. Still got their two greens. Nothing I can pull, though. Now we'll attack in. Oh, they didn't do it. We'll attack in with Love Struck here. Probably. Ah, I should do that again. That's okay. They'll get their ping off me, unfortunately. Um, they'd do better that way. They're gonna tap me down. That's okay. Take action. Let's figure out what we want here. Grab another swarm shambla. They can tap all my stuff down, and they're gonna be. They have lethal, so. Let's see if they figure it out. 17, 18. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. We're gonna mix we're gonna mix this up a little bit better though. Um, in the next one here.
They didn't hit a great hinge though, so I'm wondering if they boarded those out for the Clythos. And we haven't seen a showdown. They've gone through half their deck. Swing with the team, man. You got everything. There you go. You figured it out. All right. Block here. Block here. We will block here. Block there. And block there. If we could add a Great Henge on and the Garuk going, that would have been pretty sweet. So that's how Vorniclex works, which is pretty awesome. Um, I'm going to change this up slightly this time. I'm going to drop the Wilts. Um, I'm going to pull back in the Stone Coil. I'm going to add in my other Garuk here um, and get the rest of the oozes in. We can drop the Fluorohedrons, I think. Even though the turn two ramps were really nice. Uh, Gem Razor didn't actually hit anything for us either. But it's the only thing that makes Stone Coil better. We go like that, huh? Fast ramp. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go one ooze. I like the multiple oozes though. And gem onto ooze is better. I think we dropped the stone. We go one more. Let's go with these two. Ooh, uh, let's go one more. That'll be better ramp. We didn't get that. Do I drop? I think we're okay. Can go one ooze. I mean, this the gem onto ooze is big. I think we do that. Let's try this. All right, we're off the bat, so maybe we can move quick here. <clears throat> we'll see. The adventure draw. It's brutal. Um, we got we got some ramp. We're gonna be slow though, but we'll keep it. I'm going to get that on now. Here comes their love struck. All right, let's see what we can do here. Marcelo Kaipira. So three, we can go to Kazandu Mammoth. Four, we drop the Kazandu for a land bump, grab the Henge, um, and that's going to be big for us. There we go. So that's good. Now the problem is if they have the direct damage here, they hit the, the Mammoth, which is, looks like what they're going to do. Um, that creates a problem for us next turn. We can play Questing Beast, um, though, absolutely. All right, we're okay. That's okay for us. That we can take. Happy to trade here. Grab our ooze. So we can do a couple things here. We can drop the Garuk. Um, we can wait on Garuk for Vorniclex like we did, like we hit. Um, we'll see though what we play. So we can deal with that. 
that's all right. We'll keep this. Uh, can attack in. I got two, so let's do that. Grab this one. Gem Razor onto a Scooz is good, but they might take that one out. That's all right, we can deal with that. No blocks, we'll take the damage. So we can play this is going to give us access to the top of our library as well. Um, do we have a two drop? We don't though. So let's do this first. We'll get a bunch of stuff on. There we go. So we can do that. We can do a whole host of things. Um, maybe we do Vivian next turn. Does that give me two? Two there. We will do this. There we go. So Vivian's good. We can drop Garuk. Uh, we can also pop Gem Razor onto uh, one of our guys. And then that's going to give us uh, Trample all the way through here. So I think we're good. We'll see, though. Depends on what they have. The Giant Killer is going to hurt us if they play another one of those. Dragon's not going to do much. We could double block, actually. And if they kill the guy, um, we're going to be in a, a good spot there, too. Because then they can't tap us down, and we got the double trample. We're still good. We're still good here, my friends. I've got an I like to think big. Good game, my friend. There we go. We did it. Top 25 mono green aggro deck by Rinse, my friends. We had a nice day. Um, we'll go ahead here and finish up and talk about where this may sit. All right.
So let's go ahead here and close this one out. So mono green aggro again by rinse. Um, we saw certainly how Vorniclex pumps Garuk um, or could pump Vivian as well. So very, very nice combo. Very excited to be able to see that happen. Um, I've had it happen to me and it's not fun. So obviously I can feel my opponent's pain there um, on that one. But to summarize everyone, um, we talked about the deck strategy, objective overview. We covered hot board. Um, we went and played best of one and best of three. And best of one, we went one and two um, today. We lost to uh, a tempo deck and we also lost to um, blank and now on the other one um, but we did we did have a nice win there um, so certainly certainly good uh, I would say in terms of best of one this is probably more in the middle um, again oh it was a mono white aggro deck uh, that, that got us on the other one um, certainly in the middle probably probably mid tier two um you know i don't i don't think this is definitely a tier one deck for best of one um but it it does play well um and certainly is fun and you can uh, obviously change some things up there too uh and then when it comes to best of three we did have a really really nice uh best of three uh today uh beating a naya um showdown slash adventures deck um and a lot of people are saying that i or at least i've seen a lot of people claim that that's one of the tier one decks or one of the stronger decks um we beat it with this deck um and certainly uh we did go do it in, in two one uh match fashion um but it felt really good um we boarded well we had options um and all the pieces aligned um certainly i would consider maybe adding in some more vorniclex here um i like the snakeskin veil but we just didn't we didn't get a chance to use it um i think it's a good addition and a good idea um i i would almost consider even gem razor uh sideboard um very very heavy on the land ramp which is nice um so you very 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 aggro -y, uh, from, from that standpoint as well. Overall, I would think in best of three, um, this is probably more so, again, middle of the pack, uh, kind of tier two deck. Um, it, it played very well. Um, I was very happy with that too. So Planeswalkers, that's that's certainly the deck uh, today in the conversation that I wanted to have with you, obviously based off the gameplay. Um, so very, very excited. Nice job, Rint. Uh, and congrats again on the top 25 of this deck. Um, if you guys have questions or comments, Comments, please feel free to let me know down below deck list links down below uh, please feel free to support the channel I always appreciate that you can subscribe down over there flip on those notifications and like the video if you guys liked it um, let me know what you think and you can feel free to hop in the discord server come say hi and hang out with all of us and lastly planeswalkers uh, truly again I appreciate your support great ways for us to connect in the description and uh, finally you guys stay safe uh, take care I know the in the in the US it's a pretty cold uh, weekend, so don't don't freeze. Um, with that said, Planeswalkers, until next time, I'll see you again soon. Mithras out.